Dayanidhi Maran ji. Sir, thank you, Speaker, sir, for giving me the opportunity to talk on this bill. Sir, I rise to oppose the bill and strongly vote against the bill in the current form. Sir, I feel this is anti-people anti, anti and anti-federal. Sir, I would have appreciated that if the Home Minister had brought the law en masse to ensure that all the anti-clogs which were brought by the Britishers are being uh, uh, given a new offense. But they seem to be cherry-picking, sir. Cherry-picking whichever uh, laws they want to change. That too, if they feel they can terrorize the country. If they terrorize the country, sir, the reason I'm saying, sir, sir, right now, sir, I have a data which, uh, which was published, the Staff, uh, Prison Statistics of India report of 2020, sir, which was released on 31st December. Sir, the total capacity of the prisons is 4,14,033, sir. The present occupancy is at 4,88,511, sir. That is, we have 100, nearly 120% capacity, 20% over capacity, sir. Out of this, sir, the convicted people are only 1,12,589. The people are going under trials is 3,71,848. Literally, sir, 70% of the people who are in the prison are under trials. Basically, sir, they have not got an opportunity to go argue for themselves. And preferably, sir, the punishment for the offences committed for them would have been petty. They are still overstaying in the jail. But the, our home minister is not worried about that because to get them out and bring the law because they are all under the attic law because which will also save money for the government and also bring about an order in the prison system, sir. Sir, I would also appreciate if the home minister had come out with the data by bringing this criminal procedure identification bill that he will improve the efficiency of the police department and say that we will be able to identify the crime within 24 hours or 48 hours or 56 hours of the crime is done. No, sir. It is, it is not that. Sir, basically, sir, this bill is against the fundamental rights to privacy of the citizen and is been, which has been guaranteed by the Honorable Supreme Court in the case of, of, of Justice case Pat Puttasami. Sir, the union government is always, uh, I sometimes wonder whether the Home Minister, the Prime Minister forget where they are coming from. Sir, you all coming from Gujarat. Sir, you were the Home Minister of the State of Gujarat. Our Prime Minister was the Chief Minister of Gujarat. At that time, you were against the Union Government taking over the rights of the State Governments. Sir, but the moment you come and sit in the centre, sir, you want all the powers to yourself. Sir, let me tell you, sir, there's always a saying, you can't be a king throughout your lifetime. Sir, so the political cycles keep changing. So what happened to the Congress will also happen to you. But do not feel that you will always be in power and taking all the powers from the state. Sir, this is, we feel that you are getting into the state, sir. Sir, again, sir, this is a fundamental rights privacy, sir. Sir, I would like to ask you, say, sir, are we trying to create a surveillance state? Sir, we have seen that in this present government that there is a fear which is put amongst the civilians to do that. Sir, first of all, sir, the data protection bill is still yet to be tabled in this house. Before the data protection bill is being tabled, sir, what is the rush for the Home Minister to come with this bill? Sir, I will also say, sir, any bill that collects data has to comply with rights to privacy. This is a decision of the Supreme Court, sir. Sir, the bill is neither of those. Sir, I would like to say, sir, when the Honourable Member from the ruling party spoke that this bill is like the USA. We are trying to do what the UK is doing. Sir, there is no fundable rights in our bills, in our laws. Let me tell you, sir, in every prisoner, when he is arrested for a petty crime, he is made to sit, sit without, in his underwear in the jail. Sir, if, have we changed, tried to change that? Sir, there are custodial deaths which are taking place throughout the country, irrespective of whichever state government is ruling. Have you tried to address that, sir? No, you are not worried about that. Sir, but one thing, well, we fear that when you try to collect a large amount of data of this kind, sir, this brings a fear amongst us. Sir, you say the bill is needed right now, but it will solve, solve the crisis. Sir, why do you want to hold the, for 75 years? Sir, the charging section of the bill provides that any police officer may insist on measurements to be taken of any person who is convict, convicted or who is just accused of an offence. It is an open-ended. It does not even prescribe any classification on basis of the gravity of the crime or the nature of the crime, the length of sentence. Every citizen is entitled to privacy. And in any manner, sir, the thumb impression, signature, everything is being taken off. Sir, when such records are stored under the guise of investigation and are shared, they are large avenues of abusing the same and misusing the same. 
Yet, you claim to be upgrading the technology of a system which is double-edged. Sir, as a common man, I'm concerned. Sir, don't you feel that this will be misuse? Targeted against individuals. Sir, your government is known to target the minorities. Any law you break, the first, the first use, abuse, is done to the minor, minorities. Sir, we feel that this will be used by you, by your government, to do it. Sir, when you're bringing this law, I would like to ask the Home Minister, Sir, what about Lalit Modi, sir? What about Nirav Modi, sir? What about Vegul Choksi, sir? What about Vijay Malya, sir? They all went under your nose, through the airports, through your own airports which are guarded by you. What law did you do to bring them back? And how did you send them? You have not changed. Sir, you still now, sir, for um, Lalit Modi, your own former ministers, your former chief ministers, have given statements to the UK government for their political asylum, for his political asylum. Sir, this has been recorded. You can't bring Lalit Modi back to India. Because you can't, every time you, the Lalit Modi name comes, you'll bring Vijay Malia. But what about Lalit Modi? Who are the political, who are the BJP leaders who are given statements in support for his political asylum in the United Kingdom? There is no law. So you may say anything. But sir, end of the day, you always believe in distraction. Whenever there's a major price rise or a fuel price rise and people are talking about fuel price rise, you want to throw this and derail and distract the entire Indian population so that we keep talking about this. Sir, I would like to ask, sir, in your law, sir, the Delhi government police comes under the union home ministry. Sir, the recent chief minister of Delhi government's house was vandalized. What happened, sir? How many people were arrested? None. There, was a, there are cameras there. And nothing could happen. Sir, you yourself, in a stay, in a, uh, in a union territory, which is governed by, uh, under by the Home Ministry, can't do anything. Sir, what about the JNU rights or the Delhi, the Delhi rights? Nothing. There are so many cameras, and you decided to keep quiet. Sir, always, sir, you are in a hurry to bring laws. Sir, when the COVID situation came in, you accused the minorities. You wanted to blame someone. Sir, subject, sir. Just, this is subject, sir. Out of subject. No, sir, I, sir. sir. Sir, I have to say, Mantiji, out of subject, sir, 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 you, you accused the Dublik Jamaat of saying that they were spreading COVID and all, you ensured that you arrested the Malaysian citizens here. What happened, sir? In reciprocation, the Malaysian government arrested the, all the Indian uh, civilians there and they were for overstaying. Sir, every time you do, it is having a, a reciprocal effect. Sir, the devil's in details. As an ordinary citizen, let me break down my concerns into three parts. What is the data being collected? Whose data is being collected? Who's collecting the data? Sir, the bill is, what data is The bill is defined measurements to include an incredibly wide and loosely defined set of data points about individuals. You want to collect the expected medical examination referred in section 55 and 53A of the Code of Criminal Procedure 1973, which includes DNA, AIR, etc. But you also want to collect finger impression, palm imprint impression, footprint impression, photographs, iris, retina scan. Physical, biological samples and the analysis are loosely defined behavioral attributes, including signature and acting. If you intend to use this information in applied ways, we are not allowing a creation of a fundamental da database and digital infrastructure for a police state. Sir, there's a huge inroad into rights of privacy and is very loosely worded and open-ended. The bill is so broad, we fear it does not satisfy the two-fold che check of necessity and proportionately. Sir, the bill causes fear, great fear, because it is the first step towards the infrastructure needed to create a police state. The bill also seeks all the data to 75 years. Once provided, it will become a legal maze for an ordinary citizen to get his data removed from this database. Even if a person is arrested for a crime, be it the smallest crime, the police can exercise the power under this act and insist that all the data must be taken only after the accused proves his innocence. Even if he proves his innocence, sir, it will take 15 to 20 years, sir, it is not the finality. The magistrate can still say all the data preserved has to be preserved, and, and that's it will be there, sir. Sir, whose data has been collected? The bill expands the ambit of person. Whose measurements can be taken to include the person directly by the magistrate to give the measurements and allows police and prison officers to take measurements of any person who person. Anyone who resists giving measurements, sir, will be considered under the offense obstructing public servant. In, in, in discharging of public functions under the section 186 of the penal code. Sir, to what level does the bill suggest developing profiles? 
ordinary individuals who no, do not even been convicted of a crime, if, or just a suspect, if an ordinary person, citizen, any person accused or suspected of anything can be profiled to the extent. We are giving the union government sweeping powers. Sir, already, sir, we feel that the union government is spying on the Indians with the Pegasus software, which you failed to address. But it's a fact that the Israeli government has accepted that it has sold Pegasus to Indian government. And already we have been surveilled on that, sir. But, sir, nothing is spoken about. Sir, the Chief Justice of India himself made an open statement saying that the CBI and Enforcement Direct, uh, Directorate are not doing the job. They're either sleeping or overdoing. Sir, you have been using your allies. Allies means not the political allies. Your CBI, your income tax, your enforcement department, your RAW, your NI, for all your political gains. Sir. Any politician, sir, sir that we see, they overreach. Sir, half flayed. You're using NCB also. NCB also has joined your allies. In. Alliance. The Narcotics Bureau has joined your alliance. And, sir, this is creating a fear. Sir, I'm sort of, sir, I have to, sir, I'm the only speaker, sir. I'm the only speaker. <laughs> only speaker, sir. So, we have already seen ordinary citizens being harassed in the name of re religion, hatred, and pseudo-nationalism. And the fundamental rights to dignity have been trapped. So, how can we be sure this will not be used to profile groups, small citizens who want to go and make a protest for fuel price right. They can be arrested. So tomorrow, if people say price of petrol has gone to 120 rupees, if the gas price has gone to 1,000 rupees, if they go protest, you might arrest them and you might start profiling them. And tomorrow, they'll be at a preventive arrest because, sir, you are getting into the every domain. Sir, sir and who's collecting the data? So you seek to empower the National Crime Records Bureau of India to collect, store, and preserve and the record of measurements and for sharing, dissemination, destruction, disposal of records. Currently, as prisons and polls are state subjects, how do you see the interaction between these two? It is not an encroaching to the state subject, sir. That apart, the prison bill confers unbridled powers to the police officials and prison officials and always keeps their rights of institutions in central rooks at the mercy of different investigation agencies. Sir, so the bill says that all data that has been collected will be stored with the National Crime Record Bureau for the purpose of prevention, detention, investigation, sir. So all data separate collected will be stored at the national level, processed with the relevant records, and given to the, any law if, uh, enforcement is as prescribed. Sir, I understand the prison management subject of importance, and you are naturally interested in consolidating the center's power, but you cannot have such blatant disregard to the state's autonomy and the independent functioning of such matter. I fear this law could be misused, misused. Sir, and I feel, sir, the very fact that when the Home Minister brought a law for the see, a citizen amendment bill in this, I had raised a point to the Honorable Home Minister and said, you are not the Home Minister only for North India, for the entire India. Sir, today, when we said you laughed at us, you said it's not important. Today, we have an issue. Sir, today, Sri Lanka, our tiny island, Sri Lanka, is in severe economic crisis. Refugees are pouring into India. There's no law. There are Muslims also coming. But, sir, we pleaded you, don't do that. Don't, don't boycott the Muslim. Bring a big, bring, make it inclusive. Today, we have a reality. Sir, in your own government, in your own term, as a Home Minister, you are realizing such impossible situations are happening across the world. Sir, COVID is bringing a lot of changes. Sir, now, what are we doing? Those refugees who are coming into our country are being arrested. Sir, I'm saying, sir, please have a wider scope. Sir, this law, first of all, sir, the data protection bill has to be tabled. We have to know what data can be protected. And moreover, sir, you have to give clearly how you are going to protect this data. So when this data is going to be given to all multiple agencies, how sure are you of privacy of an individual citizen? So I'm not talking like a lawyer. I'm talking like a common man. How sure that my data will not be misused or given or sold to anything? Sir, and right now, sir, we see our own system, our web pages, in our government web pages being hacked. Sir, how sure that, that you are bringing in systems to protect this data? Sir, please don't be in a hurry. Sir, please stop terrorizing people. Sir, there's a need. There's other laws which you have to do. Keep this as a loss priority. Yeah. Please send it to the standing committee. Let it go to the new process. I request our Home Minister, sir, like the CAA, you were in a hurry and see what happens, sir. Today, please don't be in a hurry trying to terrorize people, sir. I'm sure, sir, the Honorable, Honorable Home Minister will definitely give a good uh, thinking on this and will not be rushed after seeing whatever he has done, sir. I respect the Home Minister. That's the right thing. Thank you, sir. Thank you for giving me this opportunity.